it was in between my freshman and sophomore year of high school, I decided that mechanical engineering was probably the path that I needed to take. Um, I was at that time helping with a, uh, a restoration of a locomotive that had been on display for years and years at a local park. And the man that, that I worked under or shadowed under throughout that project had gone for a mechanical engineering degree and was actually using uh, what he had learned to do structural calculations on uh, the boiler and I, I was intrigued very very quickly. People older than me have more of a tendency to have an appreciation for it because I think that they come from a less digital age. So they have more of a, uh, they pay more attention to things that don't, you know, things that aren't on a screen. I think they pay more attention to, to how life happens around them. And that's, you know, the only way you're really going to appreciate a, a steam locomotive is to, to appreciate, just, just, to, to appreciate it for what it is. Um, a, a, as far as people my own age, I really don't think that there are many people that... I don't think many people my age even notice it. Uh, I don't think it strikes... I don't think it really stands out to them as any different than any other locomotive that they would see on the railroad. And I think it's because they're far more caught up in what's happening on whatever screen they happen to have in front of them at the time. I think it, uh, it may sound cliche, but it really does set it apart. Like I said, it's uh, it's a very unique. It's very unique to have a 126 year old, uh, fully functioning steam locomotive operating within your town.
in my own way, I, I generally try to uh, express the significance of the fact that we have a piece of machinery from that era, as old as it is, that's still operating, and the significance of how different it is and how well it represents its own time period and how different that time period is from where we are now. When I train somebody, I try to make sure that that I mix um, 
teaching them how to do th things the right way, the safe way, uh, the most practical way in terms of preservation for the locomotive, what's best for it, what's easiest for it. I try to mix that because it, it, it can be a lot uh, on somebody, especially, you know, the first you know, couple weeks that they're around it. It can be overwhelming. I try to mix those, those principles with... Uh, uh, the reasons why, you know, I, I try to, 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 to come back to uh, the reasons that we do what we do and the reasons that we enjoy it, because you have to keep that in mind. Uh, there you know, are days where it's not fun to be on a steam engine just because of the nature of the technology and being out in the weather, those types of things. Uh, so I try to, to mix the, the training, the principles of, of the training themselves with uh, reasons as to why we really enjoy doing it. I kind of want I want to be the best representation that I can for that era of manufacturing. I think that the the skills the 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 integrity and the skills that went into manufacturing the machines uh, it is no longer uh, and the even though you know at, the, at when they were built there were many many more of them. I think that still they were very very unique machines i mean you've got a power plant on wheels essentially